Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have another episode of No Money Spent. Now I do want to give a shout out to Kevin J for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the bin. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below Nota Gang. Now if you guys stop by the stream, which by the way, I am starting to stream again. I'm not going to give you guys like a set schedule because I don't really have one. It's just kind of like whenever I have time on like a slower day. Sometimes I'll start streaming now at nighttime, which is going to be over on YouTube. So make sure you guys turn the notification bell on and set it to all. So that way you guys are going to get notified whenever I do go live on YouTube. But for those of you guys that did stop by the stream, we did play some house rules. And also I asked you guys, who should I pick up as my new user? And we got ourselves. A new user today and that of course was isaiah simmons of course gonna be isaiah simmons he has a new power up in the game and i decided we badly needed to pick him up he's got 97 speed 97 excel 96 tackling 95 man 99 zone and 96 hit power i am very excited that he did get a power up here now we do have sprinter on him but as you guys know my sprinter we have 25 out of 40 so it's not completely maxed out yet we're gonna work on getting that up but you guys can see the rest of the team and as i said we are playing some house rules we are going to be playing house rules in this video and i also just want to showcase with you guys uh how close i actually am getting this done because i really want to get that anthony harris and i'm hoping that he does actually win uh but you guys can see the sugar showdown we have 24 wins so we need 16 more we're gonna play a couple games but let me know down below what players should i pick up for the team guys we have 600k i also have like sean murphy bunting still trying to sell him he just hasn't sold for some reason uh trying to sell him we'll probably have like maybe the next episode 750k maybe a little bit more than that we have eggs opening up on sunday over here we actually do have an ultimate egg so i'm really excited to see what we get out of that that's gonna be fun to do for this give us a lot of coins hopefully anyways and on top of that we're just gonna be making some upgrades to the team when the market crashes on sunday so let me know what should we upgrade i'm thinking we should probably go ahead and add sprinter right we should probably get sprinter maxed out so maybe pick up like some elites backups you know everywhere else to try to get sprinter maxed out but maybe another wide receiver i feel like it may be time for dk to go like i've been hoping to get an upgrade but I don't know when his next upgrade is going to be and aside from him maybe we actually do go ahead and pick up a middle linebacker although what you know i don't use middle linebackers and dts we could use him because i've been using a little bit more down in the goal line and jalen's just jalen's just not gonna work or even another user we have isaiah simmons who else should we pick up let's get the gameplay looking to take your game in madden 21 to another level make sure to check out hotroute.tips get access to ebooks tips and schemes for madden pros use code zerk for 10 percent off let's dominate weekend league and by the way guys with the house rules you guys see that's my opponent's top three i do believe that it ends on monday morning so you guys need to make sure that you get all the wins that you need by monday morning and we have 16 more wins to go i'm gonna play a couple of games in this video here and hopefully we'll be to go ahead and actually win a couple of these games uh but i may actually do a stream sunday night and try to finish it all off so be on the lookout for that but you guys can see my opponent has a stacked deal what abilities is he rocking here he's got reach elite mid zone ko looks like no inside stuff so that's good no inside stuff there and we tripped okay game 13 we are going to pass the ball looks like he's actually a, a d-line user so dk metcalf gonna be wide open there great catch and to be honest i didn't look at darren waller there but i just saw he's running cover two we probably had waller wide open for a td and i bet someone's already going to the comment section let me know that we had waller wide open for a td there but i'm gonna reroute waller here and ooh, definitely not bailed out definitely not bailed out at all there just just dots absolute dots nothing else to say about that we have steven jackson wide open on the back here oh man sadly we got tripped up there but you guys know i've been loving this steven jackson card i had to pick him up over here on the no money spent account second and three and we're just gonna you know pick up our first down underneath oh he missed a tackle no dk dk fumbled of course dk metcalf fumbles the football just my luck down to the 11 yard line though let's see if we can get a stop he's got edger and james and also alvin Kamara. And that was 
really weird. I don't know what that was. I'm pretty sure that was an RPO, and for some reason, I just wasn't ready for it as he's mo- Oh, wow. Good play action there. Wide open over the middle, too. Jeremy Shockey. That was just a really, really good play action right there. I thought for sure that was going to be a run with that motion as- Let's see if he motions again. No motion this time. Okay. And Shockey's not open. Looking out over the middle. We get the hit. Okay, so we got the hit on him there. Second and 10, and it's another screen pass. I tried to get out there, but instead we just get the sack. I tried to get out there, and oh no, I just got stuck on the D-line. Montez Sweat, and we get the sack, thankfully. But thankfully, we did get the sack there with Montez Sweat. But I'm gonna run it over here to the right side now. I turned on two clock, and I just plan on running the ball taking the field goal to win the game when it comes to these house rules my best advice to you guys is don't waste your time on games if like it's if you're down seven nothing you throw a pick i just quit out of those games like I, there's just no point in wasting your time and also your opponent's time when everybody needs 40 wins but especially when it comes down to like potential final drive here like now there's three minutes left i'm almost at midfield yeah i instantly turn on two clock and i'm just gonna pick up every first down that i can only two and a half minutes left we're gonna continue to just run the ball here just try to get into field goal range as good blocks there jamal adams so before the two minute warning hits i actually am going to pass the ball here he like tried to use her on steven jackson there i think i don't know what he was doing there it looked like he was gonna try to use her on steven jackson but then just like tried to come around the right tackle around the edge that was pretty weird there i'm gonna run the ball again though steven jackson couple of yards now over on this account the no money spent account we do have mason crosby so we have a really really good kicker i know i can make a field goal from this range and we get a good block on the second level the first down so only one minute left and he hasn't called any of his timeouts yet gonna hit the outside here and another big hit all right 30 seconds left i don't know if he's actually gonna call any timeouts or not but he hasn't yet so i'm gonna run the ball here and i'm gonna go down no timeout so for some reason he really didn't try to stop the run he did call a timeout but i also have got a focus kicker and clutch kicker so oh no i didn't mean to do it. i just ran a fake okay I, I didn't know that I hit fake. That seemed really, really bad there. I bet my opponent that thinks that was like the, the rudest thing he's ever seen. I didn't even mean to do that. So I literally didn't even mean to do that there. I somehow accidentally clicked on fake field goal. I don't know how I did that. Thank you for not missing the pass there, but we do get a treat trail ticket right here and we'll have another game so that is my opponent's top three he's got lamar marvin harrison and namdi awesome all right so i'm gonna start off this game here with some runs and we're just gonna see what his run defense is looking like see if he actually can stop the run which first run of the outside didn't look too promising steven jackson taking a hit stick all right so solid little first play there now we have the flats wide open ozzy newsome dang another hit stick all right so two plays and i've taken two hit sticks so far that is not very good second and three coming up though we're gonna have the little bubble screen open dk actually got a trucking animation but then got double teamed so he was about to truck through namdi but then dion came in and also tackled him at like the same time so we just like canceled out the trucking animation i guess uh but dk metcalf here easy first down just really making sure we take advantage of the clock this is really what you want to do in here try to get these games done quickly especially since like if you give your opponent only the fourth quarter and they come out and they throw like a pick or something probably gonna quit the game so as long as you feel confident in your ability to actually score a cd i say run the ball and definitely put shoe clock on in here as we're about to have santana moss wide open there it was isaiah simmons versus santana moss Which, to be honest is actually not that big of a mismatch just because of the speed that isaiah simmons does have but i know we can't get to 99 man coverage so definitely gonna take advantage of that as dk metcalf wide open All right so we played that absolutely perfectly because now he only has three minutes and 58 seconds here and we're already up by td so he's really playing for overtime unless he ends up scoring a touchdown and then going for two because obviously if he went for two then he'd be up by one point but he's gonna have to really really watch that clock as he just pump fake what was that i honestly can't remember the last time someone pump faked on me but two minutes left here fourth and eight coming up and he's kind of got that flat open we have a spy there and he caught that yes great play there now he's down to the 41 though let's see if he's gonna run the ball here which it looks like he is and oh i completely whiffed on the tackle so now he's only got one minute left here to try to make something happen now, i'm not using the qb contain 
but I am going to be using a QB spy. I want to see if we can actually get some pressure around that edge. Oh, he's trying to roll out. Isaiah Simmons there for the user pick. There we go, man. My brand new user making the game winning play. I saw right off the bat there exactly what he was going to try to go to. Now, as long as we pick up a first down here, it's going to be GG. And I'm going to put ball carry on conservative now. Let me try a little stretch play out here to the left side. I don't know if he's going to be ready for it. And it looks like he definitely was not good block there. No, I had to hurdle him. I had to hurdle over the fullback there, and he does have one timeout left, but again, I am going to run the ball over here to the left side, and unless he run commits or just shoots the gap, which he did run commit, oh, we didn't get it. I feel pretty confident, honestly, that we can pick up the first down here. So fourth and two, I am passing the ball, and yeah, wide open. That's game. And my opponent is going to be quitting out of this game, guys. So we got two more victories for the No Money Spent Squad. And as I said, I may actually end up doing like a stream Sunday night to try to finish off all these games. Because I think I'm probably going to have at least like five or six more by Sunday night. So definitely not too bad. Isaiah Simmons did end up coming away with the game winning interception there. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course hit that sub button down below. Let me know what players should we go ahead and pick up. And by the way, I think that card actually sold. So we are over 750K and there are some upgrades to be made. Maybe we do end up actually picking up a middle linebacker DT just to have out there for when I do run three, four because they play like 1% of snaps. Literally like 1%. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.